Good morning, Richard. I want to first of all thank you again for the opportunity of helping you with your new V8 Defender. It really it is a gorgeous car. I'm going to take the opportunity of uh, going over a few things so that you don't end up by getting into the car cold turkey. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and start working on that, okay? Okay, so let's start with the uh, lock and unlock. So all you're going to do is press this, and you'll notice that the everything comes in, and then the uh, mirror folds in. Press it again, and the reverse, okay? You'll notice, uh, as far as the door is concerned, unlock, lock. This is uh, clear sight. It just simply will flash. If, there, if there's someone or a car next to you that's too close for you to open up your door, to uh, set the memory on your seats, what you're gonna do is press M first, and then you'll do one, two, or three. After that, you'll just simply press the number uh, of the uh, program that you wanna do. Here is the, the, press this in order to do the, and then use the toggle to set the, the left mirror Use, uh, press this, use this, and then you're gonna uh, do the right mirror, okay? All right, this over here is for, um, this right here is for the electronic child control. So it locks the, uh, the doors and the, and the windows. All right. Now, as you've seen, the, the uh, side rails, the sideboards have uh, already deployed. Over here, you have up, down, I'm sorry, front and back, up, down, and then this is for the uh, incline, decline, and here is the uh, the lumbar, in and out, up and down, in order to fit you. You'll also notice that the back door has the same button, and it is the way that you can go ahead and open up as well. If you, if you press this first, then you'll end up by opening up all the doors, they're automatically set so that if you open up the front, if you press the front door button, the driver's side uh, door, you'll end up by just simply opening up your door. So nothing of particular mystery here. The, uh, the rear zones, additional power. Pull down 60-40 to put the seats down. What you're going to do is, first of all, pull this so it's all the way up. You go ahead and push this so that it puts this down, and then you'll do this as well for this down. And then you'll put that slotch here, and it'll go all the way down. So now you have a totally flat compartment. All right? Same thing, by the way, on your front seats. This is where you can adjust the uh, the headrest here, just the headrest over there. All right, going into the rear of the car. Here is your front front license plate that I think that you'll probably end up by needing, at least. Well, actually, not here because you're registering in Florida. Here is the fan for back in this area here. You've got a, a 120 outlet. And then underneath here, you have the tools and some additional storage space. As far as fueling is concerned, you're gonna to wanna to put premium in. As long as the car is open, all you do is push, and now you have access to the fuel. Okay. So I have a bit of a surprise for you. Do you remember when I said that you only had one key fob and then one blade? Well, I was able to have this activity key included in the car. This is a bracelet that just simply goes on your wrist and you don't have to have a key anywhere. And you can go ahead and do everything you want to in the car. Open it, unlock it, lock it, and turn on the on the car okay so now we go ahead we'll get into the car I 
make it a little bit quieter. So here you've got the refrigerator. And over here you have the wireless charger. Here's what's interesting about the wireless charger is that when it's there, it actually uses the antenna at the top of the car to improve overall reception. So uh, wherever you are that doesn't have great reception, you'll, you'll be glad for it. All right, so now you have a, an electronic dash. You have the ability to change this um, to whatever's going to be in, in the center. And if you want to have, uh, instead of one, two dials, you can do a one dial and then have, you know, uh, information over here, uh, map over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you very quickly how to actually do that. So what will happen is that you're going to come here, press this center, and then you'll see this, this um, menu come up. And what will happen is that we're going to do display layout. And here I can do one dial. All right. And then I can go ahead and decide on what I want for left panel and right panel. Okay. Now, now let's go ahead and deal with this car has heads up display and you go just cursor down, select it. And now you can go ahead and decide whether you want to see it or not. This is where you do it. Here's where you set the, the brightness. And then I always like to go all the way up. Good. And then position. So depending upon who's driving the car, they may need to, in order to see this, they may need to uh, uh, lower it or, or, uh, or increase the, uh, the height. So that's going to be under position. And then as far as the content, this is where you can select what you want. So traffic sign recognition, which is this right here that comes up on. And then you've got, uh, if you want to have like your turns show up there, in addition to over here, in addition to over here, you can do that. And then uh, whether, the, what, what radio station or whatever that you're listening to here. So... I'll go ahead and I'll select that and to exit out and then exit out and then and then you can play with you know the the various things that here's the you know the tire pressure and whatever so you're able to play a little bit with with uh, with the car most of the settings of the car are actually over here under this under the gear we'll get to that in a second Continue on with the wheel uh, with the steering wheel controls. Here is your volume. Now, in order to control volume of, of the radio and volume uh, of uh, a call or whatever, then you'll use this. In order to control the volume of the navigation, you'll have to wait for the navigation to actually give you a, a command or a, it'll give you some direction. And at that point, you can change. All right. Then this is how you talk to the car. These are how to how to um, go through your favorites list. I'll show you about that. And then if you want to make a call, you're going to be doing you're going to press this. But if you want to answer a call, you're going to press this. If you want to hang up the call, once you're in a call, you'll press that as well. Okay. Over here, you have lane keeping assist. Now what you'll notice is that. These this um, buttons right here is decrease the distance between you and the car in front of you for purposes of the adaptive cruise control. This is to increase. This is to set lane keeping assist. This is to cancel, or you just simply put your um, uh, foot on the brake. And then this is for uh, you know heated steering wheel. Good, good. Now one of the things that's sort of tricky um, is that this is this is a uh, spring loaded. Oh, sorry. Here it is. Spring loaded, and in order to, in order to actually get to the different light, um, you know, as far as automatic and off, etc., you've got to play around with that, and you'll do that, you know, when you're at night. In the meantime, the the uh, button at the end of the stock. There you go. We'll go ahead and change 
some of the things that are displayed down below. To, to reset, what you're gonna do is just simply press and hold that button so that, and now it's zeroed out. Good? All right, and then the, the uh, control over the wipers are pretty typical that I think that you'll, you'll, um, you'll know from your other cars. Now, to uh, go forward, this car here has a button behind here that you have to that you have to depress first and then to go reverse you push forward and then you notice that the the three the bird's eye uh, comes up and then obviously the the, the uh, rear controls to go forward you pull back and now what's interesting is that you can go ahead and decide how what sort of view that you would like to see. All right. Now, you have the ability to do off-road, and what happens now is that you can decide whether you actually want to see where the you know what you're driving over and with the wheels so that you have sort of a, a frame of reference. Over here, you've got towing and uh, and that gives you a, yet another view to park you just press in done this right this right here apologize for the flickering um, this right here are the is the air suspension up and down i've set it up so that when you put it into park the the uh, car will automatically float down for easy access and entry when you get up to 25 miles an hour it will go it will increase in height and then when you get to 55 60 it will if it can move down um, if the roads will allow it otherwise it'll automatically adjust um, to the height that the computer determines as the as the best height all right now this is where if you will has this now what will happen is that this is where you select the different drive styles Okay, let me do that one more time. This is for dynamic, uh, eco, comfort was the next one, and then you have the, um, uh, the, the terrain uh, selection. Over here, you'll see the, the button for the fan, and now this becomes what controls the fan car wide. Press it in, and now it's back to temperature. What you'll notice that both of them have this uh, seat and it says push. It's not push in for the inside, it's push in for the outside collar. And then just twist in order to cool or, or heat. Okay? And then to come back to temperature, just press that in again. Very good. All right, um, right here, uh, the car is designed so that when you come to a full stop and the car has the ability to turn off in order to save gas, it will automatically do that. Each time that you get into the car, if you don't like that, you're gonna press this, and what'll happen is that it'll show up here on the dash as having been off. Personally, I don't like the auto off, uh, so I always, press this and you'll notice that it's also lit up at this point all right these things are uh, self-explanatory I think these are self-explanatory here is the uh, the uh, radio on off button and uh, as well as the the volume nothing particularly interesting here um, this right here comes up you have all sorts of small piece storage it, it, it even goes to the back over here and you have uh, more power over here so let's go ahead into settings and this is where you can set the full brightness I've gone ahead and I've, I've increased it all you also have a function called auto brake hold and what happens is that once it's set it continues to be set you know every time that you get into the car it'll be the same if you want to get rid of it then all you're going to do is press it so that it, now it's off all right, and then again, how you get there is through 
this right here and that right there this is how you turn off this is how you turn off the screen this is right now it's set to auto theme and what that does it'll increase and it'll, it'll um, uh, go dark uh, with high contrast at night it'll be like this during the day if you can however decide that you want to force it into the light theme like this or you can force it into the high contrast dark theme at the moment I've left it at, at auto now on audio you have this fabulous Meridian system uh, in fact Meridian surround and so you have all the the uh, controls over treble bass and subwoofer but you also have the additional sound contouring with this Meridian I'll let you play with that and decide I've gone ahead and I, at standard I always go ahead and I pull the balance back a little bit so I have even more of a surround experience but to do it all you have to do you can actually drag it or but I find it's just easier to touch the uh, uh, the down arrow alternatively now here's where you get into the meat of the of the uh, settings now this is one place that you can set the Bluetooth I'll show you a different place in a minute um, I have you on mobile data so you're connected to T-Mobile um, you are right now I have it connected so that it's on you know JLR you know our, our dealership but what happened is that you would go ahead and add a network to your home you know and you would add your home to it All right to go back just go like this and um, and then here's the vehicle it's a driver assistance oops try it again driver assistant collision avoidance cruise and speed assistance you know all the things that you would normally think um, safety and security so you can just go through them and decide you know whether you like it whether you like these settings or you want to play with the settings uh, the exterior lights are automatically uh, designed to go off when you turn off the car um, I'm going to set automatic high beam assist so what happens is is that the car will always maximize the amount of uh, light from your head beams uh, uh, your front headlights and then when there's a uh, light coming at you it'll go ahead and automatically do low beams convenience here's I don't touch anything on the windows I don't touch anything on the mirrors I do not like doing the reverse dip so when you put it into reverse the mirrors actually dip down I don't care for that um, you can decide whether you want that or not by coming in at this point here's the vehicle access where I showed the automatic access height if you don't like it this is how you turn it off wipers now um, here's where you might be interested so what happens is that this is where you are able to select the winter wiper park and what happens is that it changes the wiper position so that it's up a little bit so that it does not so the wipers don't get iced in down in, you know into the the fold uh, that area uh, between the uh, you know the car and the hood so this is where you actually get there gear shift paddles very simple right now you have these paddles right here you can set it up so that you could use them at any time which is what I've done here or you can choose to do sport only which means then that you've got to go ahead and get into sport before you can use it I'm really not sure what the value of that is because uh, it's not like you can uh, you can uh, uh, accidentally uh, touch this you, know, you really have to go a long way so I left it like that coming back um, cabin lighting yes and um, let's come back for further general here's where uh, we have some you know voice settings you can play with this here's the display we were talking about you know the the brightness you don't really have to go here in order to get to where you want to be um, I've gone ahead and already set the time and date to 12 hour month day year but if you want something a different format you have at it here's where you can go uh, languages I've set it up so that the car is talking to you in English if you like uh, Danish or you like uh, UK English this is where to go okay all right now on here let's see can, I'm not sure if you can see it yes so here is quick access 
to navigation. Let's go to that in a little bit. So what's interesting about it is that it's even better than Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or whatever. Because if you want to find out where, the, where there's gas, bam, touch that, and the next thing you know, it's going to come up with the gas that's in, in that frame. And you can squeeze, you can pull out, and you can squeeze down. All right, and then you can, and it'll navigate to it. If you get low, it'll automatically come up and give you suggestions as to where you might want to go. There, and if I want, if I want to get rid of this, I'm going to go like this. I've gone ahead and already I'm going to check it, but I believe I had already done your home address. If I haven't, I'll go ahead and I'll take care of that. Oops. I realized I was out of frame. And then just to come down like that. To add or to select another phone, all you do is touch this. We can add a, touch this, and we can add a device, or it'll show other devices that are here. The first device will automatically default to the default phone. If, however, the first that you want to set the uh, the default to another phone, then uh, then you'll go ahead and you'll configure that, and we can talk about that. I think it's probably easiest. But this is where, if you have multiple devices, you can choose which one is going to be active at any point in time. You can go ahead, get to music uh, over here by just simply touching that. Gives you the ability. Here's the player where it actually shows everything. If you want it, uh, if you want this to be a favorite, then just touch the star. And then you can access, you can scroll through all of your favorites by using this or by just going straight to this. All right, and it'll show up there. You can browse it. We can go in, you know, you can check, just drill down. And then um, search. Very cool. It's listening. So you can go ahead and say Sinatra. So, uh, but what? But it's a it's a voice search. All right. Um, all right. Let's continue on. So this is home. This is the the normal home. I've gone ahead and I've edited this so that you have uh, a compass in the center here. But what happens is that you've got a variety of things that you can show, and you can get there by going here, and you'll see what is being shown. You can change where it's located, and you can see what's available if there's something that you want then this is where to do it and you just simply drag it up in the meantime all right now if you want to have a uh, more of a look of a, you know a desktop then you press this button right here and all of a sudden all of the options are are, are already here um, you've got, you know, navigation, you've got the seats, although, you know, you, you, you have seats right over here. Climate, you still have climate right over here. Um, cameras, you have cameras by just simply going like that. So you don't need to, to go there by, you know, in that way. Um, the uh, valet mode, very interesting. So if you're going to go ahead and valet, it's, you'd rather not people having access to your personal information. And the way you do it is that you enter four digit a pin. It's going to ask you to validate, put another uh, din, din in, and this will go blank. When you get back into the car, you'll touch the screen and you'll be asked to enter the four digit pin. Please don't forget the pin that you use. All right. So now let's go back. Uh, the eco data. This, at this point, it's not interesting. Low uh, traction launch. If you are in a situation where you, their uh, traction is poor, then this will help you get from zero up to uh, 10, 15 miles an hour. Here is the deployable side steps. So right now, you can go ahead and do it for off-road op op operations. And if you remember, it has roof access. What this does is it'll keep it extended even when the door is closed. Otherwise, it's going to be closed. You have the dimensions, voice. The voice will, will show you all of the available voice commands. Oops, wrong way. Phone, you don't need to do that because it had, you have select over here. Media, same thing over here. Towing. 
So here you go ahead and you add what it is that you're towing and it asks for a variety, it asks a variety of questions in order to specifically configure the car's suspension and etc to what it is that, that you're towing. Well, I think that's it. Uh, everything in a nutshell. Actually not. Let's do this one. Over here, you've got this clear view. Very, very cool. So you go ahead and you flip it. And now all of a sudden, you have this HD 180 degree view behind you. To defeat it, all you do is press it out like that. But it is fabulous. All right, and then if you, when you have a, a, a garage, a automatic garage opener, then what'll happen is that you'll press this and what you'll do is that you'll pr then take your garage opener, press it until this goes, uh, until it starts blinking uh, uh, quickly. And more often than not, this will work. Once it's, once it's done that, then you take the, the clicker away. And then uh, when this thing stops here, you'll go ahead and, and press it a, a couple few times to make sure that, the that this is actually configured for the garage. Over here, you've got two emergency systems. This is 24-7 roadside. This is 24-7 911 police. All right, but it's behind here. And then over here, this is for uh, control over the, the uh, moonroof and the shade. And then one, one last extra thing is that uh, a lot of people by you know talk when they want to talk to the car they talk down into the uh, steering wheel uh, in fact what you'll see this is your microphone so all you have to do is talk forward no problems now there is one other item the car comes with apple carplay android auto we can talk more about that when you get it the car is set up so that when we pair your phone, Apple CarPlay will set it up so that Apple CarPlay will automatically come on or won't, depending upon your um, uh, what you want to do. But we'll need to spend a little time just configuring that together. I hope that this was a, a good uh, review and uh, we can do this uh, on a continuing basis. We can do it by uh, video, we can do it by you know Zoom or whatever. So uh, thank you again. And I will uh, I'll look forward to helping you in the future and seeing you again when you come back down to uh, Florida. Take care now. Bye-bye.